But while we're talking about the suspect challenge, by the way, which is a trend on social media, Vicky James and her husband, they're yeah. trending with regards to that particular challenge. So we're, we're going to put up their video on Facebook at Splash FM 1055 Live so that people can see, you know, what their video looks like. And uh, there are lots of comments with regards to that particular video that there was too much information according to some people that, you know, there were some things that they were not expecting Vicky James to say. Yeah. The man to even agree, you know, I feel like if you want to post something, you will check it before you post. Like you listen to it or something like that before you post it. Told it. You to become mm. Why they should have that it should have probably declined or maybe take out some parts like that they detailed it out you know before they posted that video so that's what's going on with regards to that on um social media especially with the vicky james situation and her husband and people are still complaining about the guy that does the guy even have a job yeah he does um, mr tidy i think it's like a laundry a laundry guy is, in, is into laundry business like you know go i think it's like cleaner <laughs> huh? well uh, we can't say if he's a director but you know he cleans houses and all of that because there's a video i also saw on social media you know mm. so i'm sure that he actually has a job because people have the opinion that oh maybe he doesn't have a job that's why he's able to do all of these things and she said something like that too she referred some, to something like that in the um, suspect uh, challenge, challenge video, video where she says he keeps following me all around it's as if like someone who doesn't have a job. Uh, uh, no, I, she, Abby, how did she put it? it? I mean, like, uh, like third place, like people are saying that he follows me around because he doesn't have a job, you know, suspect is somebody who people think follows me around because not because he doesn't have a job. You know, she said something like that. So, so Kim and I talked about it a little during the intro, mm. and my <laughs> my stand is um, that's what the challenge is about. If you go and look at suspect challenge, it's saying uncomplimentary things about your partner, yeah. things that nobody knows about them, and that they don't, they would not like. Mm. Now, after they recorded that video, I'd want to believe that they watched it. Mm. He mm. watched it. She watched it. Before they, they put it, they saw in. nothing wrong with it, and they put it I out there. Post it, right? So why are people having issues? Hmm. You know, but there's a way you put out, you feel like the video is fine. Okay, and you put it out, and then people start bringing out aspects of the video that you never thought was not worthy for social media. There's hardly anything that these two people have done in the past that people haven't commented negatively about. <laughs> so for them, this is, no. this is... I think they're doing too much. Mm, well, you wouldn't take a break for a bit. They are doing challenge. There's a challenge that is trending worldwide. They want to jump on it. Which one is they are doing too much? Now, so you, you go go stage, go kiss your wife for. Uh, 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 <laughs> who sent you that message? You I, I don't know. Uh, He's the husband. Mm. He wanted to appreciate his wife. Mm. Don't on you think another person's event day. Don't you think that there's something? Maybe you guys are just hitting on them. Don't you think? I just think they should take a little break off social media. Why? Social media like. is meant for people to be posting their issues. And other people do it all the time and they don't get the backlash that these ones get. So what is it? Often, though? This one is like... These often. Every week. Every, like every week. Day. They are maximizing... Almost every three, three days. They are maximizing <laughs> the potential of social media. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's you a know, comment here from uh, an ex-user who says Vicky James needs to go to therapy. She seems to still be suffering from her poor upbringing. She cannot believe she's where she is now. So she's doing everything to pepper people that don't even send her. That's the number one sign to know children that had to really struggle. Femi will soon get tired, stop or leave her and it will be very shameful because no one asked her in the first place. I also believe she's over sharing and doing too much because she's not genuinely happy. People in love and happy don't really have time for camera this much. I don't have anything against her, but whoever likes her should advise her. I wish her all the best. She has really gone raz. People are losing respect for her. <laughs> so she's getting which respect? She's getting yeah. endorsements. What is this, this but I mean she just bagged an endorsement yeah. for a major detergent. Yeah. Kate, so, is your is your headphone uh, volume a little tail out? It's actually low. Even oh. mine is like the Okay. I know, I keep hearing it. But too. Is it okay. Well, let's go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But there is another person who also, you know, made comments mm. under this particular person's post saying that most times when she sees Vicky James post that mm -hmm. she just swipes past. Only if she sees a pose that has to do with maybe she's creating a dress or something and then she watch you know that kind of video and she moves or whatever other thing that has to do with her and her husband 
She just, she just wipes past. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think these are just opinions. People have their opinions and that's fine. But they shouldn't expect the couple to change mm. because of their opinions. Mm. You know, they would live their life. At the end of the day, I mean, nobody knows for sure. If truly Vicky James isn't happy in her marriage, maybe time would tell. Mm. But all this saying it is because she is happy, she's not happy there. What if she's actually happy? Mm. What if she's actually she just living happy. in the moment yeah. and enjoying this man that she has found who seems to be like everything she's been praying for what if why would people rather believe the negative mm. than the positive about right. the situation and the person <laughs> i know the funny thing is if she stops for a week you they know, will say something has say happened going on. yes <laughs> so maybe he has broken crazy. her heart or she caught him cheating or <laughs> that's something. where i feel like we give us a little bit of suspense like we don't have to know everything yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. trust me they're not posting everything they're not they, they're not posting everything mm -hmm. there's still a lot that goes on in their lives yeah, of not like posting. Yeah. Mm, mm. I just pray that that marriage lasts, you know, as with every uh, marriage lasts yeah. very long yeah. and then we, we can refer to them for good things and say, oh, the I time so. of Vicky James and her yeah, husband. So yeah. I'm, looking forward, in the car. <laughs> I'm looking forward to her being pregnant and showing off the pregnancy because mm. I know she will do a lot she will. with that pregnancy, she showing will. it off. And I'm, not going to I'm looking surprised. forward to that. And I think that it's going to be a good phase. Maybe yeah, all there. the naysayers will just pipe down mm. a bit after and that happens. That's the funny thing. All right, all right. So. All right, uh, we move on now. This one is about Nigeria's representative Chidima Adishino, who has finished as the first runner up at the 73rd Miss Universe competition that was held in Mexico. Now, uh, this competition was described as one of the most thrilling events in recent years because, based on facts, even in the past five years, since 2021, mm -hmm. there has been a huge decline in the Miss Universe, yes, viewership and all of that, it has declined a lot. So the kind of viewership they got this mm -hmm. time really made it interesting. Like people mm. were interested in it, especially because of Chidima, the controversy surrounding her. Yeah. Um, so people are talking about this a lot, mm -hmm. right? That congratulations to Hami, she's the first runner up. And I think since 1952 or so, we've not had any contestants. They are usually unplaced most times. Oh. Any contestant representing Nigeria, they're usually unplaced. Like if they don't top even 10, make podium. They don't even make top 10, maybe top 25 or something. And that's it. Yeah. For her to be first runner up, like... Right. That's a good one. It's, it's, and she's it's commendable. Africa, yes, and Oshin, yeah. and, yes, exactly. Mm. So she was surpassed South Africa. Like she's still... The lady, I think over. the lady withdrew now. The yes, South African... Yeah, the South African lady withdrew due to before um, health challenges yeah. according yeah. to reports. But people are speculating that it might not even be because of health challenges because if you are in yeah, maybe you you're during um boot camp during camp, there are some things that you'll be hearing or saying that's what some mm -hmm. people are saying on social media and so maybe she heard that it looks like chidima is going to like go above her because these things people say it a lot so she now withdrew because so maybe, you didn't want to, i mean oh. 